What's up guys, Nyan here, back with another Ninjago episode. Today we're going to be taking a look at the season 12, season 13 sets for the summer of 2020. And we're going to be analyzing these and referring them to what might happen in the actual season, as well as a few legacy sets. So, over here you can see the picture on the official lego website this is for season 13 it's gonna be based around like a medieval or like night theme and you can see cole in his normal ninja outfit with a few armor plates on his shoulders and he seems to be rocking the gold plates and the gold armor and his weapon is a mace which is really cool, and this shield is also golden. Now this differs from other ninja because some ninja have silver ones and some ninja have gold ones like cool. Now let's take a look at the sets. Okay, so this is the list of the sets you can get in the summer of 2020 for season 13. As you can see, these are a it's a good amount of sets, so let's take a look at the first three. So the first three are the Spinjitzu Burst toys. These are, in my opinion, cooler than like those Dragon Master um, toys. They seem to be something about like spinning, so like they're the spinner version of these. Um, they're the spinners of this year. And this, it was Spinjitzu Surge before, so now it's Burst, so that's a change. Lloyd and Cole. And take note, there's also a Kai picture that's not released yet. And so here you can see that that's definitely Kai. And the launcher seem to have some kind of catapult. So maybe they're going to be using catapults to throw things at um the bad drag the bad guy's dragon which is the skull skull sorcerer's dragon that might have something to do with it let's move on though these are pretty cool in my opinion um next this is the journey to the skull dungeon sorry for the wrong name but this is a really cool scene look at the box there it's it looks new and you can get Jay, Lloyd and Mia in this set and as you can see there they have their silver armor and they're they look like knights reflecting this season's episode you can see Mia's weapon is a spear that's really exciting and this is not the skull sorcerer as we I think this is one of the minions as we'll see him in many other sets and Jay's weapon kind of looks like a battle axe if you can look from the top. And Lloyd's weapon is a sword, as you can see. It's this is looking like his sword from the Lego Ninjago movie, which is cool because knights use swords, and Lloyd's probably gonna be like a classic knight in this case since. He has a sword and a shield and he has armor. Let's move on to this one. It's called the Firestone Mech. So you can look at this cool red mech. Half of it's red like Kai's and Cole's. The other half is rocky like Cole's. This is probably a hybrid between Kai and Cole and they helped each other make a mech. You can see Nia over here with her spear fighting an enemy. And you can see Kai's minifigure. He's also riding the mech. And that's cool because we haven't seen Kai's minifigure yet. You can also see Cole's here with his mace and the gold armor. And take note Kai's armor is also gold. So then it's Kai, Cole, and Zane who's also having a gold plate as his armor and Nia, Lloyd, and Jay have silver armor. 
So that's really exciting. It's similar to the ZX suits from season one, but let's move on. So Cole has a mace that looks like a mace. So is he a royal or something since maces were used like by like kings and queens? But let's take a look at the other sets. So here you can see there's um the Skull Sorcerer's Dungeon, maybe for like prisoners just like the Ice Emperor. And there's Wu's Battle Dragon. So Wu's gonna have a dragon. Maybe he he can ride on it. Maybe this like these are medieval creatures that they can use to fight the Skull Sorcerer. Just like Zane who has like a Mino creature, maybe a Minotaur. That's really exciting. This season's looking like it's gonna be the my favorite one so far. So here are the three sets. The three the four pictures that are neat. Let's go on to the legacy sets. So first up we have the Stormfighter battle, which is you get Zane I mean J Kai and uh Venomari, but Jay's riding his storm fighter from season one. This is um a small set for four year olds and above. And we have the Destiny's Bounty, which you can get um the original ninja, the ship, Master Wu. And you can see there's Child Lloyd. We haven't seen him for a while as a minifigure. And you can see Samurai X back there, but that's it for this video. These are all the sets. If I would rank them from worth it to not worth it, I would get, or what I'm excited for, I would put um the Stormfighter Blade in last, the Spinjitzy Burst Toys in second last, Destiny's Bounty will be third, um, the Skull Journey to the Skull Dungeons would be second, and the Firestone Neck would be the thing I'm most excited for. But that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.